name is Nicholas Upchurch. I'm so honored you are here with me today. It's a great honor to help you. My goal is to make your life absolutely magical, to really transform your life so that you can finally feel like you're reaching your full potential, that you can understand all of those things we see as negative in life. You can understand why those may be happening. You can understand how to work with those things inside of yourself so you can achieve true success, so you can make sense of the news, make sense of our universe. Just actually, I exist so that I can present to you some options, some additional options to see and sort of allow ourselves to open up additional possibilities when we take a look at our world around us. And everything probably isn't what it seems, and that's actually a good thing. That means there's so much that is possible for us, for others, for our world, for what we can accomplish, for how we can work with others, how we can understand ourselves deeply, and it's an honor to bring it to you. So today we have some really cool stuff that we're going to talk about. And of course, our website's www.believe.love. You can catch us on iTunes at believeitunes.com. And if you're on Android, believeandroid.com. Of course, we're on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. And so let's get right into it. I want to talk about some news. And of course, it's no secret in a lot of the world right now, it is really cold. Winter is here. Winter is here. I went home for the holidays to Michigan near Canada, and it was very cold. In fact, we've had some record temperature lows in the United States and actually all over the world. And actually, there's something I really want to talk about because it might not sound like it's major news that winter's here. That actually, of course, it comes every year, right? However, how do we look at winter? How do we look at things that actually really seem like winter in our lives? Of course, in Game of Thrones, they say winter is coming, right? Winter is coming. So the HBO show, right? Game of Thrones. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, it means I think that there are going to be some problems soon, right? And sometimes some people love winter, the season of winter, the snow and everything else. But if we think about it for our lives and how it applies to news, how it applies to things and why this is important. Well, it's important because right now we see things that happen and that are really bad in our lives as a problem. We, we hate them. I'm no different. I've actually had major issues that have caused me, I guess, turmoil for years, decades. Major things that have happened. My brother died. I've mentioned it maybe before once, and that affected my whole life. And it was a winter, sort of a, a winter storm event, a major one for me. And actually, people have much more that happen. And so what I'm trying to do gradually, and we are so funny, we're going to do another segment on this, probably in another episode coming soon. We are so funny as people. We do strange things. We have strange reactions. And when I mean we, I mean me. Little things make us uncomfortable. People doing the smallest thing or something that throws us off. Maybe it's because it was from our childhood and we're not sure how to handle it. And we don't know how to react. It actually makes us crazy. 
And why is this important? It actually, it applies to the news. It applies to everything you see, everything coming in through your eyes, through your senses, because it speaks to your subconscious mind and what the important things are. And what I'm trying to tell you is that winter can actually be the best season. We can love winter. Winter can be your friend. It can be your friend. In fact, we may have chosen to come here before this life for the opportunity to deal with that winter. And I saw the Will Smith movie recently that was really great. It was called Collateral Beauty, I believe. And it was actually a really great movie. And he had a major event happen without giving it away. And, you know, in the movie, he basically says, I understand all of these spiritual things people say. Buddhists, Christians, everything. But the bottom line is, this still happened and I still feel like this. So part of this show is to really get real and kind of say, yeah, you're gonna feel like crap perhaps. I'm going to feel uncomfortable for strange reasons. For example, even somebody who's trying to help you to attain success, I'm not a perfect person. I have a brain, I have experiences in life that are in my brain. <laughs> and caused me to react a certain way. Somebody could have seen a mean white man with a shaved head and they could look at me and they just make assumptions. And also we're going to go over in an episode coming up, we're not just our physical bodies. We're going to go over scientific evidence that talks about you have a soul. Scientific evidence that discusses basically that you're more than your physical body and this personality and this brain, but yet here we are. And so that's what this show and this network believe is all about, merging the two, the reality and maybe the bigger picture or some options for the bigger picture. Because none of us knows 100%, but definitely more things have come into my life and it motivated me to create this company and to share it with you. And I know things are gonna come more into your life as well. That's probably maybe why you're watching this because you're interested in that in addition to making money, in addition to just news and feeling like fearful or angry about the news or hopeful or whatever. So there's reality and then in terms of, hey, we're human. We have weird reactions. Things are going to hurt. And then there could be a bigger picture. And that's what I'm just trying to open possibly your heart to, your eyes to, is that there could be that bigger picture. We could have chosen to come here to experience winter. Let's just say we come from a place where there are no problems. Let's say that in between lives, that's where we're hanging out, right? That could be possible. There is a lot that's possible. If you look up multiverses, there's a Princeton professor that proved multiverses, which are multiple universes, perhaps occurring at the same time, different versions of ourselves. I mean, there, he proved it. We're going to do an episode on that later. But a lot is possible. So let's say there are no problems. So actually, we may have chosen to come here to experience winter because maybe that's not possible for us somewhere else. Maybe we wanted to come here to experience that. We could have possibly made arrangements with other people or souls, and some people use the word, the phrase soul group, we could have possibly made arrangements with them to have certain things happen before this life and that that's how it was going to go. 
You know, Einstein, of course, proved that time is relative. It can be bent. It's not necessarily just a linear thing. It's been proven. And space and time can be sort of moved around. It's not just something that happens and that's it. So there's a lot that's possible. And these are some possibilities that can help us make sense of what's going on with ourselves, with other people, with the news. And why is that important? It doesn't have to be important, but probably something's going to come up at some point. And when we start looking for explanations, and when we start wanting answers as to why we're reacting a certain way or why can't we just do something? I know a great, great person, a great girl, and she just, there are roadblocks for her. And she doesn't really know why. And she doesn't know why she's not completing a certain project. And is it because she can't do the project? Is it because she can't make it happen? No, it's not that. It's not that. It could be a combination of things. But for her, I think a lot of it is addressing winter. And how do you address winter? If we can, we love it. But it it's not easy. It is not easy. And it is not easy to be thankful for it. Not easy at all. In fact, I am specifically creating this episode and this talking about this. I realize it's not like the fact that winter's here and it's really cold is not groundbreaking news. But I am specifically creating this episode. You know, someday this company is going to be much bigger than just me. And there are other people working, actually multiple people working on it just now that are all a part of it. And you are all a part of it. Watching. It's growing and growing and it can become a movement or a, a, an inclusive thing for everybody. It's just an idea that I'm trying to live up to. Company name is love. L-O-V-E exclamation mark. Like a verb. And the show is Believe in the network, right? But it's a, a reminder for myself. And if I come up here and I start talking about all the things people need to do and what, how they need to think about everything, and I just had a weekend where I actually had a great time. I am so thankful for my family and everybody that talks to me and just the experience. But for whatever reason, certain things can be really tough for us. Just, it can be anything. The smallest things, dealing with people, period. I mean, there are people that, myself included, that trust. You know, trust is the most valuable currency in the world. Trust is so important. It can be so tough just dealing with anything, anybody. Because when you notice details, you can get afraid of what people are going to do. You, you also, because you were taught a certain way or you taught yourself how to react, it can, you're, you can start noticing, like, why am I, like, tensing up at this point? And a lot of guys, and specifically guys, they think, well, why do I care about this? I am who I am. Who cares? I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Okay, but do you want to be a billionaire? Is that your goal? Okay. I mean, if I want to do certain things, I can tell you right now, I have to work with these things in myself. And a lot of times, part of the problem is not knowing what to do. Another part of it is not taking action to do those things effectively. And the last part is like, what's blocking you from doing that? And that's actually the biggest part. It's actually the biggest thing nobody talks about. And so that could be winter. Whether somebody yelled at you growing up or 
We feel uncomfortable around people because we don't trust anybody or whatever it may be. Those things can be the only reason we can't deal with things in the world. And I'm talking from like firsthand experience, right? I'm talking about things I've had to deal with personally. So winter can be your friend. We may have come here to experience winter, to experience tough things, You may have wanted to do it and created your life and put yourself and chose to come in this body to experience those things. And this is not just me saying this. These are alternatives. I mean, listen, if you feel like crap and you feel crazy for so long, and I've never met a normal human being. (laughs) I, I think like everybody has these things going on. And sometimes the most normal seeming people have the most going on, and I've seen that specifically. And it's okay if you do. It's actually normal, and we're probably only gonna progress if we start shining a light on these things, including the light at me, right? And that's why I'm talking about this. Because you can't really move forward just pretending it's not there. So, Exploring the darkness, and I've talked about that before, and making it our friend, I mean, I want to know what you guys think. I really do. I didn't have that written down to say. I didn't have that written down to say. I want to know what people think. I mean, go to believe.love. That's the website. Comment on the article. We'll have other ways to contact us. Right now, at the time of this video, believecontest.com, you can submit a question on the phone. If it's the best question, you get a $250 gift card. That's really cool. So I want to know what people think, honestly, because I'm working with this, and it's actually the biggest gift. Winter, for me, has been the biggest gift. If it were not for the craziness I felt and the anger about life and um, lies and I mean all kinds of things that people I guess a lot of times people's explanation is well just ignore it okay well we've ignored it and there are some major issues in the United States you know I could go down the list of the major issues and and things that were have happened around the world and unless we forgive ourselves and others that cycle may continue over time where we're basically becoming what we're fighting and then we become it again. And it just kind of goes and goes until we address winter, address it. And I need your help to love as well because I am just a man, just like you're a man or a woman. And... I need some serious help and motivation to really change the world with you guys. Whoever's watching this is very early in this process. And the only way that things are going to get better is if you help me. Just like I want to help you. That is the way it's going to happen. Because I can tell you right now, I have the ability to execute this and to work with our current system in this world to change media and and present a new message. And I have to explore the discomfort in myself in order to do that. I guess that's what I'm telling you. It took me a year just to come up with this, just to finally get going on this. I mean, it's like unbelievable. And it's <laughs> and I'm telling you, this applies to you as well. And it is news that winter is here because it applies to everything. Everything you see and do. Is it the fact that you can't do it? Is it the fact that, oh, something bad is Donald Trump is doing something and ruining my life and everybody else, Obama's ruining my life? It's just a reflection. And if we don't shine a light on these things, I know for me, We're just going to keep getting irritated over and over and over again until we finally address those things that make us crazy and love them 
which is part of addressing them, but eventually loving them, that which we think we should hate, loving winter. So I think, you know, if there were no winter, would we know how summer feels, how good it feels? For those of us who grew up in the winter, or I should say in a place where it's massively cold, right? <laughs> At least five months. There's no sun for five months in Michigan. And I could say now it's beautiful and I'm thankful for that. And you know what? That like literally sounds crazy. I'm on camera now saying that. That helps me to say that. I don't know if I could say that off camera, but I will, I will say it to somebody. I have actually said it more and more in the past few months. And it doesn't just apply to the weather. My point is if, if you didn't have those things that were tough in your life, how would you know what good is? If everything was the same, that's probably why some of us, or maybe all of us, created this world. And what I've been, what has been passed to me is that you are all God. Everything is God. And there could be other beings and messengers as well. And other grand parts of the universe that are a higher intelligence. Definitely there are. I can tell you actually, definitely there are. I've had firsthand experiences with those things as well. Some of them, not all of them, just enough to know for sure for me, I've seen it. Not that I'm perfect or I immediately was great, like 100% afterwards, no, no, no. But I can tell you that that's the case for me. So how would we know how good things can be without winter? How would we know how summer feels? If it weren't for winter, we may not know how great summer feels. So I hope that helps to open your perspective. I hope it helps to shine a light on some possibilities when we look at those tough things in life. And what do you do now? Well, listen, when you feel a tension, a tension like a pain or a thought or whatever, something you wanna get out of your head, maybe if you like, and I have to do this more and more, and I am, if you'd like, Go sit somewhere and put your attention or a warm feeling on that area and just see what comes up. And it can be, it can sound crazy. A lot of guys, especially because we we're actually afraid. We think that we say things are BS, but actually it's because we're afraid of it being real. Not all guys. But a lot of them, I, I, I know some and I've been one. I mean, 15 years ago, my perspective was completely different, completely. I mean, I just didn't know anything. I, I did and I'm still like working on it, right? <laughs> but if you sit there and you let that energy go, it's really love and light. It, you don't have to, you know, you can feel as good as you want actually. But the idea is be brave and let it go where it's gonna go and work through that and you don't actually have to do anything. You just relax and open up. It'll open up by itself. The tension will open up and whatever thoughts or feelings come up, let them come up. Let them come up and You'll see them. You'll see them go by. They'll cycle. Don't judge them. Just let them go. And it might be a lot. Most of us, for me, some people don't have to do any of this. Sometimes, though, if you think you don't have to do any of this, when you want to know why you're not accomplishing what you want to accomplish, probably we need to do it a little more, right? And for me, I know because I have different, you know, feelings during the day and it used to be, and you know how I know things are getting better because 
it's harmonizing for me, you know, slowly but surely, but it's definitely doing it. It doesn't mean I'm just perfect. It goes in waves sort of up on the way up. And I'm so thankful. I am so thankful. Honestly, I am so thankful. And I'm proud to, to be able to share this with you. And even to tell you within the last 24 hours, I've had feelings that, again, it's not like I was perfect. Meaning like, I'm not like just all peaceful and everything all the time. Like, I have these things come up and I'm like, why does my voice sound like this? Like, why am I sounding like ticked off? <laughs> like, you know, and before I would have sounded maybe a lot worse and I my my energy would have been all over more. So it gets better, but it, it doesn't mean you need to be perfect all the time, but it's it's a process. It can be a process. And it can lead you where you're really supposed to be going. And if it weren't for winter, you may never go there. And so you may have chosen this tough thing or this winter for yourself in this life as a catalyst to move you towards what you really came here to do. You may have chosen it. I may have chosen my brother. We may have set it up before this life. And it still, it feels weird as heck saying that. I may have chosen it, that he was going to die. It was going to crush me for years when I was little, you know, pretty young and didn't know anything and thought that there was a guy in the sky that chose him to die and that, you know, we were being kind of screwed over, <laughs> right? So just keep that in mind. I really hope it helps you. I know you're going to have an amazing, amazing year, and it's an honor to share that with you if it does help you and open your eyes. And I think in terms of news, in terms of things being really cold in a lot of the country, I'm back in Miami. Thank God it's hot. It's maybe the only place in the United States where it's hot, right? But I've had my fair share of winter. And winter can be your friend. So that's the world news for you. And actually, I'm really happy and excited to be able to share something with you 